Hey guys, how's it going? The Stealth Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Lockpicking Homeschool video. This is a really great video series that I started to help beginners learn from a beginner level and hopefully grow up to an intermediate level in lock sport. What I'm going to do today is go over what was my very first aha moment and try to have the community share some of their aha moments when they were first learning lock picking. What I have below this towel is the very first lock where I really started to feel like everything was starting to come together and I had been purposely picking and not just picking at random. So what I'm going to do is reveal this for you and give you a really great discussion on why I felt this lock was the lock. So what I'd like to do today is just try to get a discussion in the comment section below where you can share what was the first lock where you started to really feel like everything was starting to come together for you, you were starting to pick with a purpose, and you were not just poking around at the lock until it opened up. What I have under here is one of the very first types of locks that really put everything together for me. I really had to consciously think about what I was doing, and I was starting to get locks open. When I finally set the last pin, it's because I set it on purpose and the lock did not just spontaneously open up. So the lock that I had the most experience with, which was really helping me grow as a picker, is going to be an American Lock 1100 series. I enjoy these locks so much, and these really help things start to click for me figuratively and literally. These locks are really tremendous locks, and they are a really great milestone for people when they are first starting out. American locks are probably one of the top low security locks out there from a pick resistance standpoint. They have decent tolerances, really great security pins, and they're just a lot of fun to work on. They are not very easy to rake, rock, or bump open, and these locks are just so fun to learn. What I really enjoyed about this lock is this one had a very difficult bidding for someone that was starting out. As you can tell, it has a really, really long key pins in the front followed by very short key pins in the middle and the actual bidding code on this lock is 87227 which is a very difficult bidding for someone when they are first starting out especially on American locks. So in my experience American locks is when lock picking really started to click for me and I really started to enjoy it. What I'd like to hear is what is your personal experience? What locks started to really have things start to come together in your brain where you were able to purposely start to pick your locks and have everything start to come together? I'd really love to see you share in the comment section below how you got into lock sport, where you're at today, and what really started making the difference for you. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has been a really quick video on what really got me going in lock sport and how I really started to progress. I thank everyone in advance for sharing all of their stories and I look forward to reading them all. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.